Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, this is part two of my review of One Day Saving Shop. And we are going to be working on this Mandela. So I've gotten out my first color. I took the, I had a little container. So I cut them all apart and they're all in their, in their order. So we're just going to use that so they won't be here, there, and everywhere. But yeah. And I thought we'd just start in this corner and do what we can do. Oops. I missed. Has nice glue. I loaded up my pen because... For some reason, when I do uh, special drills, they uh, take more glue. And every once in a while, it just depends, um, the, the glue will come out of the end for some crazy, crazy reason that I'm not real sure of. Yeah. But we'll use up these, and we'll just kind of go up. In that direction but I just thought this was a beautiful beautiful Mandela I just love it when it's diamond painting it didn't work out so hot when I was doing it on cross stitch so I'm looking forward to this working you know much better I don't know it it was just too can not confetti what's the word too I don't know you have to it's different I don't know how to explain it it's like shaded so you have to do every part shaded not like this you know it's all those are separate drills you know what I mean it, it's different but I like it better on diamond painting all right so V is number one and I'll be cutting these open as I go That little plastic container makes a nice container to put things in and then they'll all be in the same place and when I'm done with them I'll tape them all shut because taping in the middle of trying to work on a diamond painting does not work for me and I didn't want to waste a container you know what I mean for you know, one of my things like this. I didn't want to do all that, so it, we're just going to use that one. Oh, I didn't even see those others. This is really detailed, I guess, if you will. But I think it will be beautiful. I did iron out the canvas because I just couldn't handle it. Okay. It was just rolly, like it had been rolled up too long. All right. Got that one done. So we'll just work on it one section at a time. I do need an extra. A few threes here. Might as well do all of one color. In the same area. We almost used them all up. I don't see any other, so there probably is, but you know, that's how that goes with me. I'll get it all done. Ha ha ha. Not happening. Okay, number eight. Oh, 
these are real teeny teeny tiny we're just gonna just need a few oh look that's all I need I don't know if I oh I can really no, okay Well, that's weird. Huh. Maybe that's just not supposed to be there. Huh. They have... Well, we got 10,000 of them. I don't... Let me look. Hmm. See, the red ones on that is normal. Oh, wait a minute. I got the wrong thing. I do. I do. All right. I'm like, well, that doesn't even make sense. Why would they do that? That is for something else. I thought it was odd that they didn't have the right shape. Laura doesn't have the right. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're just going to do it the easy way. Just throw it in there. Okay, let's try again. It should be number 11. Oh, that's making much more sense. All right. We, we dang near messed it up. What can I say? I just I don't see that any place else. There we go. Well, how in the hell? Okay, maybe it does go that way. Oh, okay. That goes like that. Okay, you say so. Bizarro, but okay. There we go. I was trying to lay it down, but the bottom was, let's see if I can get a hold of it, is rounded. Hello. Yeah. We're having a day already. Okay, I'll put that back before I drop the darn thing. Red dot is number 13. Just need a few of those. I have all these little corners all over my floor. I think I get them off the table and I must drop one or two, so. Just love these special drill ones. They're so pretty. Okay, I don't see no more of those. Try to get them put back. I don't want to take the plastic off the whole thing. Because, my luck, you know, stuff will happen. Number four. Ooh, that's a pretty green. And I like that One Day Saving has crafts for diamond painting and cross stitch. And they have special drill. They may have some of the uh, glow in the dark. I'm not real sure. I didn't look that up. I forgot. See how it's just a paler 
green. So pretty. But that way, you know, you have choices and you can do all different kinds of things. And they have really good prices. And it's pretty budget friendly. I haven't bought anything big from them yet, but I might. One never knows. I could see where the the plastic ends. Oh, see. And it takes a little more effort to pick up these special diamonds, but and like I said, I usually have to refill my glue because it gets pushed down because I'm pushing a little bit harder than if I had a regular drill. But never fear. They, they give you plenty of glue. And if you get three or four of these things, you'll have lots of glue left, or glue. The wax, you know, left over. I've got like four pads here I'm working with, you know, that I just keep using for various products, projects, I should say. Come on. Well, we're going to need a little bit more. Just a bit more. And I cut my hole big enough so that I can stick the, the end into the, the hole and just tip it up and all the diamonds go in it. And they seem to move, move a lot easier than regular, you know, like plain drills. I'll have to look and see if they have any other mandalas in diamond painting. I really like them. Okay, I think that's the end of my there we go. End of my plastic there. And let's see. Oh look, there's some more of those yellow. ones I had out, like I said, it just never fails. Come on. See? And all my drills just went right in. <coughs> Let's see here. I need two. Now this one is actually the one I had out before. We only, I should have kept them two out, right? There we go. Just needed two. And some of these little ones. You can get the end of the... Now I really have to move it. Sometimes it's just easier. Get the tweezers. Just a little bit even. Right there. And we got that whole corner done. I, yep, I, no, I don't. I thought I needed another one. And we have an upside down. Number seven. A lot of those. But they're just a nice all around store, and that's what I like. Because you can get a variety depending on what you want to work on, you know? I'm trying to feel where the plastic is. I know. Or she tape. I haven't been to Walmart lately. Mm 
Nice, clear little symbols. You can read them. I like that part, too. Nothing worse than trying to figure out what it is you're supposed to get. To the edge there. Because I just peeled up a section. And I laid it on my uh, light pad. I'm not using the light pad, but I laid it on it. Because it, these tend to go on better than on say my squishy pad that's underneath there it just gives too much especially when you're pointing this is a front fun little project each one of the Little sections are different. I only do part of this with y'all. And then I will come back in the end and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Just lovely beads, lovely, lovely beads. You can most times get these special drill ones knocked out, oh, in maybe a day or two, you know. It just depends, you know, on the pattern and that kind of thing. Those Christmas ones went really fast. Oh. I love it when I get all the way there and I don't have a drill. It's so special that way. Isn't that beautiful? So we're done with this section right here. And then we're moving up towards the, the middle of it. And like I said, I'll just do it in sections. You know, like divide this into three s separate parts. Oh, for pity's sake. Okay, so if you does it like three times in a row, I need to get more wax. And I just press down and turn it, and it fills it right up. All right, guys, I will be back, and I will have a finished product. Be right back. All right, I am back, and it is finished. Kind of shine the light on it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all those beautiful colors. Turned out awesome. I love it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, or how I'm going to frame it, or what's going to happen let me see here it is uh, nine and a half so about a 10 by 10 yeah that almost nine and a half it's a little over nine and a quarter inches so it would fit in a 10 by 10 frame but isn't it beautiful even the the uh, canvas shines it's just beautiful just beautiful. Now them little, little bitty ones, they were a little bit of a pain in the neck. Those itty bitty tiny ones. But yeah, look how shiny that is. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to look and see if they have any others. Because I would definitely do another mandala like that in the special drill. Just beautiful. And let me see if I can get a hold of it. We're trying. Hang on. I did have try not to, tons of drills left over. So I will put those in my stash. And I'll put a piece of tape over the edge because at this point I don't have extra containers to put them in but yeah isn't that awesome so thank you one day savings let me put those up there for sending me these beautiful products I just absolutely love them this mandala was only 466 so very reasonably priced very reasonable just gorgeous. I can't get over how it shines. I'm going to have to put it somewhere where the sun will hit it. Because it is beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright guys. Well thank you for joining me for this review. And working with me on this small little special drill sparkly diamond painting. I appreciate it. Go check out One Day Savings. They have diamond painting crafts, diamond painting, cross stitch, counter cross stitch, customs. They just have everything. So go check out their store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye bye.